Hello. Hey. I'm in my new pyjama top. It's like a dress. I love it. It is currently 20 to 2 in the morning. Today I was in the concrete jungle, otherwise known as London, and I popped into Cassart. There I am, very happy and excited. Uh, one of the Cassarts near Leicester Square. In terms of art stuff, Cassart is my go-to place. It makes me happy. So I bought a few things, not much, but considering this is an art channel, I thought you guys might enjoy this. Actually, I asked you guys on Twitter and about 400 of you said, yeah, do a video. So here I am. So I didn't get a plastic bag. I used my penguin canvas bag, trying to be good to the environment. All right, here we go. I'm sort of starting from the beginning. I'm painting very small in comparison to what I can do. So all my paintbrushes are too big for the canvases I'm using. So I went to buy some smaller paintbrushes. These look quite small. Some of my paintbrushes are too big to stand in this pot. Uh, but yeah, I'm lacking on small paintbrushes. Okay, here we go. So they're very tiny. I got a Filbert, Filbert. These are my favourite type of brushes because they're straight and curvy and for me I find them easier to blend with. I got a small round one, I find these are really good for detail. I find these are good for making dots and marks. For me I don't really use these for straight lines, but yeah, markings definitely. And the last one I got was a flat shader, so this is a square brush. I guess you could say this is like a fine liner pen, it's good for going around stuff with. That's purely just how I feel about these brushes, other artists might use them differently to the way I do. So I'm quite excited to use those, get intricate with my paintings. Okay, next thing, cleaning stuff. This company's called The Masters and it's some soap and some brush cleaner. I've been after this for months, so to finally have some of this, I'm so happy. I think the first time I used this was 2009. Um, my art teacher loved this stuff. I've not used the soap before, I'm quite intrigued to use that. But this, if it will open, ah, there we go. See, it doesn't smell. Sort of, a bit lemony. Of late, I must admit, I've been a bit naughty. I've been using hand soap to wash my brushes. So no, now I'm gonna start using that. I'm gonna be good. Never underestimate the cleaning process with art. You must take care of your brushes. So I'm now gonna clean my brushes correctly. I'm so excited. I just not the camera, sorry, continuity. The last thing I got today was some ink from Windsor and Newton. And I love the box it came in. I don't like spiders, but it's quite sweet. <laughs> when it comes to ink, I don't really know what I'm doing. This is gonna be an experiment. I know there's different types of ink, I was a bit lost what to get, so I hope I've chosen the right thing. As an artist, I have certain strengths and weaknesses, and I'm very aware of what I'm good at and what I'm bad at. This is something I did when I was about 14, 15, and it's a combination of all sorts of materials, including ink. I'd love to do something again like this, but much bigger. Some stuff like that. <laughs> I guess you could say that's completely out of my comfort zone, so yeah, I wanna have a go at that. I wanna push myself. Um, so that's why I've bought the ink. One thing on my to-do list is to design some sort of rucksack or bag with a design like that. I'd love to do that. Oh my gosh, my Essex accent is so strong. I've been living with my parents too long. It's rubbing off. You're gonna laugh at me about the next thing, but the last thing that happened to me in Cassar that made me excited was they now do loyalty cards. So I was the first person in that store to ever get a loyalty card. So that was awesome as well. It's, oh, it's still got the label on it. I'll deal with that later. I should say that I'm not sponsored by Cassart, and if I do do any sponsored work in the future, I will let you guys know. And the last art purchase I want to hold up are my, ooh, are my Prismacolor pencils. So I didn't purchase these today, I got them about two, three weeks ago, but because they are so special, I want to hold them up. According to the internet, these are worth about £100. There's 72 pencils in this box. And I got them on offer, I got them for about 52, 54 pounds. And I'm extremely overprotective of them. Uh, because with pencils, if you drop them, the leads break. And because they are so expensive, they're like 10 times more valuable. So yeah, those are two of the trays and there's one more tray at the bottom. And already I've kind of color coded them. So when they arrived, the colors were all over the place and I had to deal with them. So I've tried to put warm tones together, cold tones together and earth tones together. It just makes me happy, they feel better like that. I'm gonna go on a tangent just for a minute, but bear with me. I know I've been doing loads of tangents in this video. I have a profile on Patreon, which is a website for content creators such as musicians, vloggers, artists, authors, things like that. It's where followers, fans, or patrons, Patreon, get it? Yeah? Can donate or tip the creators that they want to support. 
I will do a proper video on it in the future, but the reason why I'm bringing it up now is because due to 36 of you that supported me in January, I've been able to buy this stuff. There's now 42 of you supporting me, which is incredible. The fact that you guys just watch or comment, let alone support financially, just blows my mind. But I want to express my gratitude to my Patreons. Can you see my hands are going, yeah. It means so much and it means I can keep working. If you've no idea what Patreon is or you want to have a look at my feed, then I will put the link in the video description. And the last thing is if you guys have any requests for paintings, drawings or vlog topics, then also leave those in the comment box. I'm gonna do a combination of art and vlogging on this channel, so yeah, hit me with your ideas. Right, I'm gonna tidy up and go to bed. Thanks for watching, thanks for supporting, and I will see you soon.